Welcome to Chapter 13, Hiring the Right People for the Job. Hi, this is Rita, Operations Consultant with Synergy Restaurant Consultants and instructor here at Synergy U. Today we will discuss how to select the perfect candidate, and that begins with crafting great interviews. The right candidate solves a specific need in your organization. Finding the right person for a specific role begins with an interview that gives you a clear indication of what kind of person is sitting in front of you. Knowing whether they are qualified for the job and really understanding what you need for the position. To hire the right person, you need to make sure you know everything about the role that needs filling. The right candidate will learn and grow to fill this role perfectly. To be clear about what's required, write thorough, honest job descriptions. It's also a good idea to get different points of view. Ask at least two other managers to conduct an interview with the candidate before making the final decision to hire. Let's take a look at how you can set the stage and conduct a great interview. Send the right signals. Offer water or coffee and treat the candidate with friendliness, respect, and kindness because that is the behavior you expect to see from them if they were brought into your organization. You also want them as relaxed as possible during the interview so they can be themselves. Host a conversation, not an interrogation. Get to know the candidate by asking broad questions, in addition to specific personality and technical skill questions. Do they have any hobbies? What makes them tick? Look for 51 percenters. This means you want 49% technical skill and 51% emotional intelligence. This is notated by Danny Meyer. Though experience is important, kind and empathetic people are easy to teach and can usually learn any technical skills they may be lacking. Look for a candidate who is curious, passionate, and knows a lot, but isn't a know-it-all. Being coachable is the most important personality trait you're looking for. Look at the dates of their previous employment. Two to three years at one spot before moving on is preferable to someone with a new job every few months. Also, dig into their motivation for moving on from job to job. You don't want complainers or people with no discretion. Time for a change and a new opportunity are good things. Things like, nobody does their job right at my current restaurant, indicates this candidate may not be a good fit. Always ask follow-up questions. If they say they were the top salesperson at their last job, ask them what the competition was like. Everyone was lazy is not a good response. Their methods for selling and their motivations are better answers. Save your spiel about your company culture and hospitality until the end. Find out how they see the hospitality business first. You want someone who is a natural fit with your company, so be careful not to guide their answers. Split the talking 80-20. Let your candidate speak for about 80% or more of the time, and you speak for about 20% of the time or less. Their answers are more important than your questions, and the goal here is to discover how they think, act, and conduct themselves through their answers. Form 17 in the toolbox of your downloadable content has personality questions, job history and experience questions, and the time to make a decision sheet. Let's take a look. Personality questions give you some insight into how this candidate operates and what makes them tick. Ask questions like, how has your sense of humor been valuable to you in the restaurant business? How does empathy come into play in the hospitality business? Have you worked with people in the past you did not get along with? How did you handle those situations? Do you have any hobbies? What do you like to do in your free time? What are some things you are passionate about? Job history and experience questions can give us some insight into their specific experiences, their loyalty, and how they conduct themselves professionally. Ask questions like, tell me about your experience at your last three jobs. 
What were your reasons for leaving? Tell me about the menu at your most recent restaurant. What were your top selling items? Tell me details about those items. How did you sell the menu and specific items? Tell me about your beverage list. What was your favorite pairing? Tell me about your favorite wines, beers, or cocktails on the menu. What would your current supervisor say makes you most valuable to them? When it's time to make a decision, this form can guide you to a hire or pass verdict. Rate the candidate one through five, with one being the lowest and five being the highest rating. If a candidate scores highly across all of these questions for you, then they are likely a great hire. Answer based on your interview questions like, does this candidate have the right personality to excel in our organization? Are they warm, friendly, high-spirited, and professional? Did the candidate demonstrate a high degree of initiative, ownership, and eagerness to learn? Does this candidate have enough relevant experience and were they able to show detailed knowledge of their previous responsibilities? Was the candidate knowledgeable about their previous menu and beverage lists? Then conclude by circling hire or pass. Summary. It is critical to the success and efficiency of your restaurant that you build a team with the right people and it all begins with conducting great interviews. To know whether a person is a good fit for a position, you need to first fully understand what the position needs from a candidate. Then, it is about whether the person has the personality, values, skill set, and experience required. During an interview, make the person feel comfortable by offering them something to drink, making conversation about personal things, and not only work-related topics. And always get at least two other managers or key employees' opinions by having them conduct separate interviews. Follow Danny Meyer's 51% principle. Someone who has 51% of the emotional intelligence needed and 49% of the technical skills. It's easier teaching someone new skills than struggling with someone who doesn't have the right attitude. Pay attention to how long someone has been at their previous few jobs and ask their reasons for leaving. Keep the talking to an 80-20 split. 80% of the time they should be talking. 20% of the time you should be. And always dive deeper into a topic with follow-up questions. Avoid directing answers from a candidate by leaving information about the restaurant, its culture, etc. until the end of the interview. You want their answers to be authentic and not skewed by what you've shared.